Hello to my Leo family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for January 17th through the 23rd. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now, Leo, these are general readings, so I'm picking up your energy in a general sense. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's take a look at your cards for the week ahead. First card, the Knight of Cups. Next, the Page of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. All right, Leo, we'll get to your other cards in just a little bit, but wow, Leo, hang on to your hat. There's an energy this week where some of you are going to have like major breakthroughs in regards to your love relationships or your business projects. There's an energy here coming in where you have to find like a new way to keep your balance. It's kind of like a new mindset where you're just going to be ready for whatever comes your way. Not prepared, ready. That's embracing whatever is coming. Not trying to get everything prepared for whatever comes in. So it's kind of a really a spiritual way, accepting the energy that's coming in and kind of like saying no to anything that's, what I'm going to say is that low vibrational energy. Anything that doesn't fit in your values, you know, um, whatever you hold sacred, whatever you value, you know, and this can certainly be in regards to romance. This can be uh, the work you do, what you're known for. So for some Leos, you might be looking at it in the wrong way. And that's kind of what my guides are telling me is that you need to stop thinking in the way of, like, I only need this, or if I had more of that, or if I was only able to, and then kind of like fill in the blank. That kind of mindset, Leo, needs to go. That's what I'm picking up. That's what my guides are telling me. And that's going to really lighten the load and change everything for you, Leo. So with that being said, let's take a look at each of your cards and you're kicking it off here with the Knight of Cups. And I really like the Knight of Cups in this deck because it almost can be mistaken for the Knight of Wands. You know, that really charging forward, passionate kind of energy. So this is a very raring to go Knight of Cups. Now, in general, it's in regards to love coming in. Certainly can be friendships. It can be meeting someone new where it blossoms into a very loving relationship. But the Knight of Cups is also in regards to your creativity, your intuition, what you have to offer to the world, Leo. But this certainly has a very Knight of Wands energy to it where there's just such a passion for going forward. There's something that's, the best way I can describe it, there's something like behind this energy, kind of pushing it this week. I just keep picturing like divine intervention where there's like hands kind of just pushing this energy to be like right in front of you, Leo. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Knight of Cups, see what other information we get. Judgment. Transition, Leos. Leos are always in some kind of transition. But it's an indication there is drastic change. Drastic change is coming in. So an indication that like your current phase of life, and that could be your mindset, is coming to an end. So you're kind of looking and reviewing, how did I do that? What worked? What didn't work? 
certainly an indication here like life is changing, your future is changing, and you need to hear the call. That's what this is, fiddle focus. You need to hear this call. That's your intuition, your psychic abilities, Leo. Leos are very intuitive, but we kind of keep it under wraps. We kind of actually think it's the norm that everybody has this intuitiveness or common sense, whatever you want to call it, but they don't. So really, whatever you're thinking about this week, what you want to do, Leo, it is possible. So tap into your intuition. This is angelic messages coming in, which is going to be like pointing you in the right direction. Now next, Page of Cups. And this is something unexpected. Page of Cups uh, always brings the message. Um, it always means to me something unexpected. Also picking up a transition here. Yeah, transition, like you're in the very beginnings. Um, you see the butterflies here. It's a very quick transition is what I'm picking up. So it's not something where you're going to be sitting on the fence for very long. As the second that you realize the change of mindset, it's going to get you to where you need to go, Leo. And then boom, the transition will happen. And this page of cups will be bringing through how you're going to feel. And it's an indication that you're going to feel like this new love or this new hope coming in for your future. You're going to feel you know, like this creativity. So very much feeling the energy that what I feel like the divine is pushing in this week. You're going to feel it. Also an indication, pay attention to your dreams because there might be messages coming through in that way. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Page of Cups. See what else we can find out. Yeah, and Page of Wands, looking towards your future, so is the Knight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, nice, Leo, nice. You're headed for the fruits of your labor, you might say. Everything that you've been wanting, the energy is now turning. The discipline, the hard work that you put in, now it's coming to fruition. So very nice energy, I feel, for like some Leos. You've been working on something for some time, and you were, <clears throat> you were kind of like um, what I'm going to say, really being tested. Your patience was really being tested. Um, a lot of frustration, a lot of almost feeling like you were hitting a wall, and that's kind of all gone this week, provided that you're kind of changing your mindset on things. That's part of the discipline here. Next card, Ace of Wands, beautiful energy. Divine intervention presenting you with a new beginning, a new future. This is such a beautiful Ace of Wands. Now this wand is not only charged up, it's on fire. And the red ribbons here, that represents victory. That's an indication that you got the message. You heard the call. You got the message, Leo. So this is like um, life force energy. This is inspiration. This is now, it's like your aha moment. So just a burst of excitement, enthusiasm, energy for something new. So it's really kind of like taking the ball and running with it, Leo. So definitely can be in regards to relationships. It can be an indication of like passion, excitement, having fun. In regards to career, there's going to be opportunities where you can really be creative in what you do, be able to express yourself in the work that you do. But the one thing, with this Ace of Wands, this is a new beginning, a new opportunity, and you have to grab it in order for it to come to fruition. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Ace of Wands, see if there's anything else we need to do. But this is kind of based all on a new mindset. And we're going to see what your Oracle cards have to say as well. 
Queen of Pentacles. I'm really not surprised. You're not the first sign to get the Queen of Pentacles as this is what you need to do. Get back to the basics, being down to earth. Get back to the simple things in life. This is certainly making sure you're grounded, centered, you're balanced, you're exercising, you're eating the right foods. You're really paying attention to your body, mind, and spirit. So the discipline here associated with the Nine of Pentacles, this queen is saying by getting back to the basics, you're going to see this opportunity and you're going to be able to run with it. Now, your numerology here for your three tarot cards is actually number three. So yes, this is all coming together for you, Leo. This is energy, information. It's coming together to create this new energy, this new opportunity, this new future for you. Three is new beginnings, new way of thinking, a new future, a new way of living. Now, your last card here, tarot card is kind of like an overall snapshot of what your tarot cards are trying to say. Wow. Okay, this is what's going to be happening. Definitely. <laughs> wow, look at this energy. All the wands are so charged up with this energy. Something really soaring, taking off. That could be in regards to relationships, your career, what you've been working on or working towards. Eight of Wands is a very quick energy coming in. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I always get excited about the Eight of Wands. And especially the direction of the Wands because that can change the meaning. These Wands are going up, taking off. So they're soaring. And that's what you're going to be doing, Leo. You've got some wonderful energy breaking like through all of these wands. They're all charged up. They're taken off. So something is definitely coming in quickly. This can be some kind of news coming in like breaking news, good news, exciting news. And this eight numerology is abundance. So this is something about to happen or, you know, happening very quickly. So it can be communication coming in, very intense energy. It's almost like everything is just kind of like part, <laughs> you know, like open up and just this energy is just going to come through. So very exciting energy. It can be in regards to relationships. This could be meeting someone that, this can be in regards to like, Maybe not seeing a marriage proposal coming in. This is such an exciting energy in regards to romance where it's like love at first sight, kind of being swept off your feet kind of energy. So when we're talking about relationships, it can be kind of news or something that you've been waiting to hear for some time. And for some of you, yes, it can be the words, will you marry me? Just a beautiful energy here. Could also mean that some of you are traveling, maybe hearing that somebody planned a vacation and you're going to be traveling and it was quite unexpected. So that kind, that's kind of an indication like what your tarot cards are all about. Really, um, it's like pushing, making this energy come in this week where it's taking it to the next level whether it's in regards to relationships, your career, business, or project, your uh, maybe whatever you're working on, maybe moving, a new home, whatever it is. But it kind of still comes back to that mindset. You're not go it's not going to happen unless you change your mindset. You really have to be open. You have everything you need, Leo. So if not now, when? Crystal of the week. Cinnabar. Well, this kind of uh, has additional messages, Leo. Like, do you want a career change? Are you looking for a new job? Maybe you want to go to a new company. 
For some of you, you might want to start your own business, possibly a hobby, maybe something you've been doing you want to turn into like a home-based business. And let me bring my cinnabar into the reading for you. I always keep my cinnabar in my work area. So it's like one of the best crystals to have uh, on your desk while you're working. Now, cinnabar here showing up for the week is in conjunction with the Eight of Wands. Because this is the week to set plans in motion. You know, kind of just put the wish out there to the universe and then hold on. Definitely with this card showing up, there's positive new energy and abundance coming in, especially in regards to business or what you're working on. And like if you're not working at this time, maybe your job situation changed, maybe you're not working, that could be sending you off in a new direction. And since it closed that door and you thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? But it's actually opening up a new door, one that you wouldn't have normally even thought about. So it actually could be a new field or a new direction, maybe something you didn't think you were qualified for, Leo. And now with this eight of wands energy where anything that you want to try, it's going to take off. You're going to be successful. Cinnabar crystal concerns your sacral chakra to kind of just go with the flow. So definitely, especially if it's in regards to your job, business, career, make sure you have the cinnabar crystal for this week ahead. Now, last message here for the week ahead, Leo, is from the Shaman's Dream Oracle card deck. Okay, you have dances on one foot. Wow. Yeah, and look, it almost, yeah, it looks kind of like a butterfly. We're always in transition, aren't we? And here it says balancing act. Yeah. <laughs> so it's an indication that you're going to find a new balance. It's based on how you just kind of were dropping things and just kind of accepting how things are and moving forward. So Leo, if you're putting too much effort into like managing your life and work and relationship and family and social media, you're really missing the point, Leo. You have to be dancing while juggling your entire life, knowing that at any time, half of it's going to be up in the air. And we know that it's not about doing too much, Leo. Maybe feeling like you can't keep up. This is where you're confusing being ready with being prepared. So an indication with this card, you're never going to be fully prepared for the changes and challenges in life, but you can be ready to just say, yes, I'm going to jump on board with this. So it's an indication here to kind of live in a state of yes to spirit and no to everything that is not within your values. You know, things that are concerning your life and romance, vitality, what's sacred to you. This is a card that's saying, if you're holding on to the belief, if I only had more than, and then fill in the blank, you need to change that mindset. Because life has provided you with everything you need to accomplish your goals and fulfill your mission. And your cards this week are an indication that you just need to say yes. You've got this energy with the eight of wands. And it's like the divine pushing all this positive good energy that's coming in where you need to hear the call. You need to hear the message, trusting in your intuition get back to the basics, work hard, and you're going to have the success that you've been striving for. Just a bit of a transition, a very quick one, as your cards here are indicating is something in your life is truly about to take off and soar. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a private tarot card reading, maybe you want to continue finding out more, continue this reading, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Leo family.